Hello and welcome all. I welcome you to this digital lesson of Maulana Azad National Urdu University. I am Dr. Mudassir Ahmed Ghori. Today, I will be taking up English communication skills. This course consists of four blocks and each block consists of four units. Since we have already discussed about unit 13, now we will discuss unit 14, paragraph writing. In this unit, we will discuss the following things. We will discuss about the paragraph structure, about principles of paragraph writing, topic sentence, unity, coherence and types of paragraph. You should remember what is a paragraph structure or what is the definition of paragraph. Paragraph in simple words means a series of sentences which are systematically ordered and clear. These ordered sentences must be connected to a single thought or a topic. In fact, every piece of writing that we do must be systematically organized in paragraphs. Generally, a paragraph consists of three parts, introduction, body and conclusion. The structure you will find in the paragraphs that narrate, describe, compare and contrast or analyze. Let's talk about what goes into the introduction of a paragraph. This is the first part of the paragraph. It is an introductory part. We should include topic sentences or any other sentences that provide background information about the topic. In the body part, immediately after the introduction part is followed body paragraph. This is the main part of the paragraph where summary, discussion, analysis, information and examples are supported. The last part, conclusion, this is the final part of the paragraph. Here you should summarize the discussion and controlling area elaborated in the introduction and body part of the paragraph. Let's understand principles of paragraph now. The first principle you should take into consideration while writing a paragraph is topic sentence. What is this? Any well structured paragraph grows with a single dominating idea. The sentence that expresses that single idea may be called as topic sentence. A topic sentence does many tasks. It provides and validates the main argument or thesis statement. It is through the topic sentence that the content of paragraph is unified. Dear students, the second principle of paragraph writing is unity. The prime principle of oneness is unity. It means all the components as well as the whole idea is connected to a single idea, thought or a theme. The next principle of paragraph writing is coherence. Coherence is simply defined as something which makes sense as a whole. There should be a consistency that is to be followed. It serves as a connection between words, sentences and paragraphs. If a paragraph is coherent, each sentence runs to the next level without any jump or shift. A coherent paragraph shows connection between old and new information and is comprehensive to the reader. We also use some sentence linkers in paragraph writing. What are sentence linkers? Sentence linkers are generally used to connect two sentences in a paragraph. This may consist of a single word or even may be a phrase. For example, the words like moreover, in fact, therefore, in addition to, further are the examples of sentence linkers. On your screen are the examples of sentence linkers and the functions they perform. As an example, for example, as an illustration, in other words, kind of these phrases when we use in paragraphs exemplify things. There are phrases, there are words that express contrast, that express or indicate conclusions, that indicate causes and results and effects. Three to four basic types of paragraphs. Descriptive paragraph, narrative paragraph, persuasive paragraph, compare and contrast paragraph, or critical paragraph. What is the purpose of descriptive paragraph? The primary purpose of a descriptive paragraph is to describe a person or to describe a place or a thing. It is intended to use descriptive paragraph to create a vivid picture about any place or a thing. 
for example, my best friend or Taj Mahal. When you describe your friend or when you provide a description about Taj Mahal, such type of paragraphs can be called as descriptive paragraphs. In a similar way, we have also narrative paragraphs. A narrative paragraph simply refers to a story that you narrate or tell in greater details. They are considered also as creative. For example, now that you are grown up and you had been to your school, you can recall the first day of your school and write a paragraph about it. For example, my childhood days, my first day at college, my life as a sportsman. These are the examples of narrative paragraph. Let's talk about persuasive. This is one of the important paragraphs. This type of paragraph aims to convince readers to believe in a particular idea or thing. Therefore, writing like criticism, reviews and reactions or proposals or even advertisement generally stick to this type of writing. It is entirely aimed to influence readers. In compare and contrast paragraph, we try to find out the similarities and the differences. This type of paragraph talks about the similarity and differences between things. For example, ocean and lake, childhood and youth. What are the similarities between ocean and lake and what are the differences? Similarly, what similarities do you find in childhood and youth? Let's quickly recapitulate what is the takeaway from today's lesson. Paragraph writing, the types of paragraph writing, and we gave a detailed description about the principles of writing paragraph. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back soon with another unit titled Letter Writing.